Hello, my name is Rina. I am a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. So you might have heard by now, Albania has appointed the world's first、um, AI or robot minister. The virtual avatar looks like this and is named Diawa. And according to the Prime Minister of Albania,、um, this AI minister will make sure that Albania is a hundred percent corruption free. Now, I was not able to find super concrete details on exactly how Diawa will function as the minister,、um, but I was able to find a couple of pretty important clues. So the first thing is that Diawa is built on OpenAI and Microsoft technology, probably GPT and data storage like Azure. And the second clue is that the position that Diawa has, which is the Minister of Public Procurement,、um, seems to be created just for Diawa to combat corruption. And the third clue,、um, which is pretty interesting, is that Diawa's image and voice are based on the actor Anila Bisha. So even though we know little about the concrete plan for this AI minister, we do know that it probably needs to be trustworthy and likable,、um, which is why it's based on an actor、uh, that people already know.、Um, if Julia Roberts told me to do something, I'd probably do it. But the claim that Diawa can single-handedly eliminate、um, corruption or even function well as a minister is very, very hard to buy. The first reason being adaptability. So asking existing tools、um, and training methods like GPT to handle extremely complicated issues like public procurement is really like holding a building together with just glue. It is asking for adaptability that we do not currently have. The second reason being that in AI is black box, it lacks the necessary transparency. Now,、um, a argument for AI ministers is that they cannot be bribed with money,、um, but the truth is AI can still very much be bribed with、um, flaws and biases in training data that we might not even realize. So, although this seems to be a pro-social use of AI. I think to tackle complicated issues like corruption, it will still come down to hard work of real people and genuine、um, human intelligence. That's all I've got for this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.